That mascara is not swim proof. <laughs> it's not waterproof. Hey there gorgeous, hope you're having a great day. I first want to start out and give a very special shout out to Donna, Paula, and there was another lady I met at Detweiler's Farmer's Market very recently, but we were in passing and I didn't get your name. It was so nice to meet all of you in person. Thank you so much for taking the time to come up and say hi to me. And for anyone watching who may see me in public, I can promise you I will not look like this. I'll probably look like this. Three kids, you know. But anyway, you're always welcome to come up and say hi to me. I absolutely enjoy meeting every one of you and it was such a joy. Today's video is all about testing out swim proof or actually waterproof makeup products that you can supposedly get wet and they won't move. So we're gonna do that in a very, a very thorough test today. And I'm gonna let you know if there's anything here that is worth swimming with or not. Traditionally in these videos, I would set out to find an eyeshadow that was waterproof, sweat proof, humidity proof, but I'm going to do things a little differently with this swim test. I have heard many people say that Inglot's Duraline is a product that will make any powder eyeshadow or any powder product for that matter, waterproof. So I want to test that out today. So what this is is basically just a mixing medium that you mix in with your eyeshadows that are not so pigmented that you want to make them more pigmented. The eyeshadow I'm going to be using is this one from the e.l.f. I Love You A Latte palette. Usually I would apply the Dura Liner with the eyeshadow on the back of my hand and then apply the eyeshadow onto my eye, but I'm gonna do things a little differently today. I'm first going to apply this eyeshadow all over the lids. Hey, Tilly! Tilly's like, I'm gonna come hang out with you because I don't like our new guests. <laughs> They're residents, Tilly. They're not guests. They're not going anywhere. Now, I know there's always someone who says, I never wear makeup when I go swimming. I hear you. Okay, but some people do. And that to each her own, right? All right, then I'm going to take some of this Duraline and I'm thinking how I wanna do this. I think I'm going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand here. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush dipped in the Duraline and I'm going to apply that over the top of everything I just put on my lids and hopefully this will set it in place. Well, hello. Okay, I'm also going to go back with a little bit more eyeshadow on the brush mixed in with the Duraline and apply it back on the lids. This is just not, just not helping. I'm gonna get this on a t-shirt. If it's not a kid, it's a cat. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then come back and we'll fix it a little bit more. <laughs> this brow powder right here from a Joa brow palette. And I'm going to do the same thing I just did with the eyeshadow. I'm going to mix that in with a little bit of the Duraline. This is actually really nice. The Duraline is creating sharper lines. So it's a little easier to apply the powder. I'm going to line my eyes a little bit also. I'm taking this brown eyeliner from the e.l.f. palette and I'm again going to use the Duraline. And that's the eyes, all completed. Now I have to add some mascara. The mascara that I want to test out is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Waterproof Mascara. So I heated up my eyelash curler and curled my lashes. It's got a nice wand to it. Oh, that's pretty. That's really nice. I'm liking how this is going on. I'm also going to add it to the lower lashes after I've done the rest of the face, but we're gonna move on. I'm using two different concealers. I'm gonna put my foundation first hand. A little out of order here, but it's okay. The Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. This promises to be transfer proof and waterproof. The shade that I'm using is Porcelain and Blend with light, <laughs> it's light. It's okay, even if it's not a color match today, we are testing formula, not color. And it might calm down once I get it on, who knows. Ghostly, <laughs> it's, it's um not a color match. For the concealers today, I'm using two, the Catrice True Skin Waterproof Concealer and the Stay Assurance from J-Cat Beauty. This is the Water Sealed Zero Smudge Concealer. I have tested both of these out already. They are fabulous for swimming. They do not budge, and I'm excited for you to see how these perform today. To set the face, I'm testing a powder I found on Amazon. This is from the brand Moira. Moira? I don't know. It's their Soft Focus Waterproof Setting Powder. Now Catrice has a waterproof powder also. If you did not catch it from previous videos I've done with swim tests, 
that is excellent at keeping everything in place. But I'm gonna just try something new for this video. Oh man, I'm hearing thunder outside. Hoping I can get in the pool before any storms come. For my bronzer, I'm using the L'Oreal 24 hour bronzer and I'm going to apply that to the sides of the face to give my face a little bit of color because you know we're kind of ghostly right now. I look at Eli. Yeah, you found Eli, our adventurer. Okay, thank you Jet. Jet and Eli are becoming fast friends. And for the blush, another one from L'Oreal. This is in the shade Confident and this is another one that is supposed to be waterproof and not supposed to move on you so we'll see. I'm going to apply a little bit more than this so you can see it because once I get out in that sunlight it's going to be hard to see anything on my face. Now that I have the rest of the face applied I'm going to go back and add some mascara onto those lower lashes. There's a product that CoverGirl makes for the lips. It's called Outlast All Day Top Coat. And so this is in the shade clear. You're supposed to be able to put this over any lipstick and it will help prolong the wear of it. So we're gonna test that in the pool. I'm gonna go with Flowers Naked Blush today and apply that right over the top. And now I'm ready to go test it. Hopefully there is not a storm coming or if there is, it passes quickly. Ha! Ah! Just gotta bite the bullet and do it, right? Jet's gonna join us. He's been learning how to swim, so we're probably gonna do some dives for toys because that's his favorite part. So, it's a good time to test everything. You just gotta do it, right? You just gotta do it. You're not supposed to have floaties on, bud. Take these off. Why? Because we're gonna practice. No. Yeah. You just wanna swim? Yeah. All right, we can't put your head under like that. Um, can you please put my glasses on you, right? That mascara is not swim proof. It's not waterproof. Okay, but the lips look good. <laughs> Don't you make a tornado hole. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it fast enough. Ah. I'm gonna take this inside and show you up close everything. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you in here so we can see how all of this, my gosh, that mascara. That mascara is not waterproof. Okay, here's my thing. How do these companies say something is waterproof when it really isn't. Like, unless you put that sucker on and you jump in a pool, don't tell me it's waterproof. You know what I mean? So here's what. The blush and the bronzer still there look great. Lips, really impressed to see those held on the way that they did. Eyes, uh, not so much. I mean, it's still there, but it doesn't look as good as when I first started. And the eyeliner, with the eyeshadow is starting to fade also. And the eyebrows, while they're still there, they're not as good looking as they were when I first applied it. The foundation, surprisingly, is holding in pretty well, although I lost a big stripe of it <laughs> on my nose. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it was when I was spinning Jet around. So that's what we have in a Tilly. Final thoughts, I highly recommend the L'Oreal Blush and Bronzer those look amazing. The concealers, the foundation, if you can find a shade match. The powder was really amazing. I can see, I can still see it on the skin even after all that swimming. This lip product, this is great stuff. This is an amazing discovery. Highly, highly recommend. Everything else, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing something good over here in my little corner of the internet. And if you're interested in other videos like this, I will have a full playlist for you below in the description box because a lot of the videos I've done in the past, the products are still readily available and those tests are relevant still too. And there's a lot of really excellent makeup that I have tested in the pool that does stand up. Let me know if there's a makeup product that you would like to see tested in a swim test like this, and maybe we'll try to fit another one in before the summer ends. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. I speak love, peace, and joy into you and into your home, and look forward to seeing you again next time. You just want cuddles. Yeah, you just want cuddles, I know. It's been a hard two weeks, huh? It's been hard.